Let me take a guess that the reason you clicked on this video is because someone told you that you needed to have a branded sending domain in Klaviyo in order for your emails to hit people's inboxes. Or maybe you've realized that your emails are going to junk. Or you've been told that Google and Yahoo are updating their rules and everybody needs to have a branded sending domain in Klaviyo in order for their emails to get through. Well, you're in the right place because in today's video, I'm gonna take you through a step-by-step -step guide on how to set up branded sending domains in Klaviyo so that you can get your emails into inboxes and out of the spam folders. Now, what you're going to need to get set up here is you're obviously going to need a Klaviyo account and you're also gonna need access to your domain's DNS. So if you're using a hosting service like GoDaddy or Crazy Domains or Cheap Domains or 123reg, all of these have access for you to edit your DNS settings. And this is where you're gonna to have to put in some information that Klaviyo is gonna give you. So what I want you to do first is make sure that you can log into your domain provider and get to the DNS zone section. And then we're gonna log into Klaviyo and we're gonna get the information that we want to put into that DNS setting. When you're in Klaviyo, we're gonna click where your business name is and then we're gonna click settings, okay? It's gonna bring you to this screen here. Once we're there, we're gonna go up to the top and we're gonna click email and we're gonna click domains. Now this is where we're gonna add the domain that we wanna send our emails from. Now this typically should be the exact same domain that people use to go to your online store or to your website. So we're gonna add that domain directly in here. So I'm gonna type in Fight Gear Direct, it's one of my stores, .com today. And then this section here is the subdomain. Now the subdomain is the part where when someone sends you an email, you're gonna see at the top that it comes from someone at send.yourwebsite.com or email.yourwebsite.com instead of .clavio.com, okay? So they know that it's not coming from a large email provider, it's gonna be coming from your domain in particular. Now the most common one out there is send, sometimes I see email, sometimes I see mail. Uh, I'm just gonna do send because that's what Clavio is recommending, but you can put whatever you want in here. So type in send and we'll just leave that there. So this is gonna be send.fightgeardirect and we can see that's the preview of what that's gonna be. All right, so we'll go through, we're gonna leave it in dynamic routing and not static. The difference between dynamic and static is the way that the IP addresses work. It gets a little bit technical, but when Klaviyo sends out emails, it sends it from thousands and thousands of servers or hundreds of servers, I don't know how many they got. And each of those is assigned what we call an IP address. Now let's just say someone else in the Klaviyo world uh, spammed and got blacklisted or whatever, that would actually impact that one IP. And if you're on the same server as that IP, you could actually impact that and have negative sending. Whereas dynamic means that your IP address will change over time, making sure that you don't fall trapped to someone else's bad behavior. Great, we're now gonna go through and click next. And it's gonna ask us to select your DNS provider. Now, if you're any of these, it's gonna give you instructions directly and a link directly on where to update the DNS. Now, my store isn't any of these, so I'm just gonna click other and it's saying log into your DNS account, select your domain and then manage DNS record. So the DNS account was what I talked about earlier. The domain is what we've entered in there and DNS records is where we wanna add those things in. So let's click next. And it's now given us all the different records that we need to add in there. Now, just a little bit more education around networking, just so you understand what's happening here, is every domain has a whole heap of information behind it so that when someone visits that domain, the domain gives it some information and instructions. The same happens is when you send emails to that domain. We send an email to that domain, the email provider looks at it and just makes sure it goes, well, what do you want me to do with this email? This is where DNS records come in. They give instructions to the server that's sending it on what it wants to do with it. And this is true for Klaviyo. For them to prove that you own the domain is one thing. And then the second thing is making sure that it goes to the right servers within Klaviyo so that it has the best chance of landing in the inbox and not the spam folder. Now let's head over to your domain partner and we're gonna to go to the section where it's going to be about zone management or DNS zones or zone entry or zone manager. You're gonna see a few different terms for this, but anywhere that you see DNS or DNS zones is where you want to go. So if we go back to Klaviyo and have a look, it wants us to create these different record types. So one is called a NS record. In fact, there's four NS records and then one is called a text record. So the NS record is telling Klaviyo that the send.yourdomain.com is going to go to ns1.klaviyo.com and it does four different ones. And this just spreads the load across the servers. And then the final one here is the verification code that Klaviyo needs to show that you own that domain. So in order to add these in here, we'll go back to our DNS provider and we're gonna create a record. We're gonna choose the NS record. And if we go back to here, you can see what that means. The record type is NS. 
So we go back, we create an NS record, we click create record. And this may be a little bit different for your domain provider, but the concept will be the same. So we're going to give it a name. And if we have a look back here, we can see that the host or the name is called send. So we're going to put that in there, send. So it's send.fivegeardirect. And then the host is going to be ns1.clavio.com. Okay. And we'll just make sure it has no space in it. And we click add record and that's it. So we're going to go through and do that three more times. So four in total. And every time the NS record is going to change just slightly. We have a look in Klaviyo, each NS record is different. So the second one is NS2, the third one is NS3, the fourth one is NS4. So we'll go through and add these additional records now. All right, that has all been done. We can see that the uh, requested NS record has been created. So let me scroll down here and we can see they are all in there. Okay, so that is pretty sweet. That's exactly what we want to have happen. All right, so now that we've done that, we've got the NS records in there. So we've told the domain that when someone sends an email to this domain, this is what we want to do with it. The next thing we need to do is prove that we own the domain. And that's by using a text record so that when Clavio checks this domain, it can prove that you own it because it's gonna give you a piece of code to put in there that only it recognizes. So let's go and do that now. Head back to Clavio and let's have a quick look here. This is the final one we need to do and this is called a text record. So we're gonna go through and we're gonna copy that text record and we're gonna go back to our domain provider and we're gonna go through and we're gonna create a record type. And this record type is gonna be a little bit different. It's not an NS record, it's a TXT record. And just to confirm, let's have a quick look in Clavio where I got that information from. You can see there, that is a text record. Uh, great, so we've got that copied already. We'll go back here and now we're gonna add a TXT record and click create record. Now this one's where it gets a little bit different. Let's go back to Clavio and tell us what it wants us to do. It actually wants us to do an at symbol. So sometimes when we do a text record, we need to do an at in there, and then we're gonna paste in the actual record that it's given us. Now we can click in add record. Now sometimes you might get an error like this, and that means that your record actually needs to have quotation marks in there. So let's just click add record, and we can see the requested text record. So now we've done everything that Clavio wants of us. There's a couple of things that are gonna happen now. It's gonna take about 24 to 48 hours for your domain to update across the World Wide Web. Once that happens, we then should be able to go back into Clavio and verify that this domain is working and Clavio is gonna give us the green light to say, yes, you own this domain. Yes, we can see the NS records and we are good to go. And to finish it off, we're gonna go back and click save in Clavio. And then what we can see is that this is pending. So if you log back into Clavio in two days time, you should see that this domain is all good to go and it is approved. If it's not, you're probably gonna to have to contact Clavio directly to find out what it is that's wrong. Their help desk support is really awesome, so they will be able to help you, no doubt, and steer you in the right direction. The other thing you might need to watch out for is that you have put the records incorrectly in your DNS zones. If you don't think you have, most domain providers also provide amazing support, so if you just send them a support ticket on what you're trying to do, they'll go in there and add it for you. Now there is also one final thing you may need to do and it's called a DMARC record. Now this DMARC record is something that a lot of people have been talking about. So I actually created a video for it specifically for Shopify, but the rules apply no matter whether you're using Shopify, WooCommerce, Wix, whatever website you're using or built it yourself, you can still use these exact same DMARC instructions. So I've got that video up here. So feel free to click that to watch how to install DMARC on your store. So you're gonna need DMARC as well as these branded sending domains. Make sure that your emails are out of spam folders and in your inbox. Now, if you like these videos, there's a lot more around me here that you can watch to help you not only grow your e-commerce store, send better emails, and genuinely just make more money online.